Now that we have everything set up, we're ready to map our first route. This can be done one of two ways. Simply go to Route Info, Route Mapping, or we can pull up our route schedule and then hit the Map button at the top of the page. You'll want to make sure you have some customers on the schedule first before you try this. Once we hit Map, you'll notice that the system will do a sync with our mobile server just to make sure that every time you map, you are mapping with the most recent data from the desktop. Once it's finished, it'll automatically open up the web page and allow you to log in with the same username and password like you would on the service program through the desktop. Once logged in, we'll go ahead and go to Mapping, and then Route Mapping. The blue icon with the office signifies your company's starting and stopping location. We'll go ahead and select which route and dates we want to map on the right hand side under the map options. We now can see our route mapped in the order in which it came from the desktop software. This is not yet optimized. If we scroll down, we can see the route scheduled just like we would on the desktop in the current order. We could search for, an, by, search for a customer by an address or click print directions if this is the order we want. We have multiple map styles by hitting the layers button in the top right hand corner. And you can zoom in and out with the plus and minus button or the scroll wheel and click and drag to navigate around through the map. If we want to map a different route, simply hit the reset button under map options. Look in the next video for optimizing the routes and syncing back to the desktop software.